If you already have the perfect gift for Father's Day, how about making a drink suited just for him to make the day even better? Here to get us started with three types of cocktails for three types of dads, wine and spirits expert Christine Doyson. Thank you so much for being back. Thank you for having me. We always oh. love when you come in with such yes, great ideas. You do. You yeah. make us think outside the box here. I love the past segment. So many things. One about how experience is one of the most important things yes. you can use your money for. Right. And so that's why I tried to put together cocktails that someone would customize to their dad. Yes. So, good. so he would really enjoy it. And then the story about dads, that's my dad. Oh, yeah. And he was an archaeologist, and I spent, we spent our summers in Sicily oh, every single cool. year. Look at that. So time coming together. Pasta here. con la sarde. It's yeah. all about me. All, all right. right. Okay. So today we're going to make three different cocktails okay. for our three different types of dads. And I was thinking, um, Amy, yes. since you're drier, I'm going to put you on the dry side I'm of the on cocktail. The dry side. Okay. Okay. Tanya, you're on the sweeter side. Okay. So Amy, you're yes. going to make what's called a white port and tonic. Ooh, okay. Which so it's very very hot. Okay. In Portugal in the summer. Okay. Um, and most people don't know that port comes in white mm -hmm. as well as tawny and ruby. So no, I did not mix know that. up all three colors. Yeah, white port is actually very rare. Okay. So a cupca is a house that specializes in white ports. Okay. And the way you make the cocktail is you take some ice. We're okay. just going to use. Oh, you found the scoop. That's yeah, great. Look at that. We're going to ice up the glasses. Okay. They're each going to get an ounce and a half. This thing has a measure. These are really nice jiggers right Ooh, here. It's a nice ice scoop. Yeah. Of white port. Okay. And ounce and a half, you said? Ounce and a half. Okay. Then you top it up with tonic. Okay. And then you garnish it with okay. an orange slice and rosemary. So oh. it's more on the savory side um, of cocktails. And it might end up needing a little more ice. You'll just kind of feel your yeah. way with that. I didn't scoop out enough. Well, but. I should have pre-scooped them. On the other side. Oh, on the other side. We're going to make an Arnoldo Palmer. Arnoldo. Which is an Arnold Palmer with a yes. Portuguese twist. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to have iced tea and lemonade. We're going to have what? Lemonade and port wine. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. So I have to pass the ice bucket to you when it's ready. Okay. We're going to ice up those glasses. These glasses. They each get two ounces of port, so it's right to the top. And okay. For this one, it's ruby port, so this okay. one's open and ready. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. That one's open and ready so to go. So you can do that, and okay. I'll get the... Uh, that sounds great. Okay. The uh, two ounces of port going. Now, I, I, you know, I am a, I love port, but tell us a little bit more about port. I just oh, sure. remember from when you watch all uh -oh. the older shows on TV, yeah. you see the, the husbands retire to the parlor so that they can have port. So yes. They can have the port. That's the old version of port, and okay. it still exists. Okay. But uh, Kupka port wine, by the way, four generations, father, son, father, son, father, son, mm -hmm. is actually, it's the oldest port wine house, but it has the youngest port winemaker who's a woman. Oh. So that's like shaking things up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, and there are many, many modern ways to enjoy port wine, such as in cocktails. And we often have it chilled, Yes, actually, because mm -hmm. um, it is a sweet wine and it's 20% ABV because okay. it's a fortified wine. So chilling it down is a really, really nice way to enjoy okay, it. Okay, so the you summer. told me. Yeah, okay. So, yep. so two ounces of the port. Two ounces, in, what, fill it up with lemonade. Oh, fill it up with lemonade. And yours, you stir. These we don't stir. And was I supposed to put orange in these? Yeah, a little okay. orange and a little rosemary. Rosemary, okay, good. Um, you don't stir the ones with the bubbly mixers. Okay. Because it deflates the bubbles. Oh. Mm. Whereas ones that have a still mixer, you can. Look at that. Okay, or something so, new every day. And yours we can garnish with a little lemon and a little mint. If you can Ooh. reach all oh, that. Oh, I get to play okay. with the mint. Yes, and we're going to have more mint later for our big old punch. Okay. That is the last thing we're going to make. So do you want to give them a sip or should we keep it moving and no. start mixing? Mm. Give it a sip. Did you give it a sip? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to dump my orange right in there. Oh, yeah, me too. Actually, my little sense. All right. Thank you, babe. Thank I you, baby. I knew you were going to spank your mint. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. That is really good. Mm. All right, well, she's spanking mint. Let's start on the... on the. Okay. Mm. Not bad, right? Thank you. Yeah, really it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Very light for a hot day. Yeah. Punch. Punch. Oh, oh, oh. Like Let's see how we did this one. Oh, I'm loving this one. You do? Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay, good, let's good, try good, this good. one. This okay. is good. Let me try this one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. let's make the punch. Yeah, we only got about a minute left. But we're going to go fast. Okay. If it were us alone, I'm going to take three lemons. You got to peel them. Okay. You got to muddle them in this thing super, super hard with five and a half, five ounces of sugar mixed brown and white. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did that in advance last night mm -hmm. because you have to let it sit around for an hour. Okay. Oh. So it's going to go into the punch bowl and we're going to start pouring the ingredients, which okay. are 24 ounces of cool water. Cool water. Then half a bottle of ruby port. 
Oops, before. sorry, of 10-year-old Tawny Port. Tawny Port, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one's open, I think. Oh, gotcha. That'll be easier. Okay. So half, half a bottle. bottle of that. Uh -huh. This is four ounces of white rum. Oh, white rum, you know yep. I love the rum. I'm gonna dump in the lemon juice that came out of all those lemons that I muddled last night. This is Armagnac. So this is eight ounces of Armagnac. Oh, okay. Goes. There we go. Okay. Then you put in a pinch of nutmeg. Oh, oh there's the nutmeg right okay. there. You're supposed to use a fresh one, but I could not find one. I do. Ooh. A pinch! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Holy moly. It was a big pinch. You know, it was a big pinch. Then you float the lemon wheels in there. You just dump them all in. <laughs> I should have given better direction. <laughs> then you put in some herbs, okay. like whatever you like. But what we're going to do, can you grab me one big, let's see if we can get some ice in the, So then you let it sit overnight. So the good news is it needs time. All right, we're going to let you finish that up. Okay. we got to get to weather really quick, and then we'll come back and we'll try it. That sounds good. All right, all right. thanks, okay. Christine. <laughs> All right, so Father's Day cocktails, we'll have those uh, uh, recipes on our website, but you can also look at Kepke1638.com and DoysonGlobal.com.